He attended Shattuck Military Academy in Minnesota, obtaining his bachelor's degree in biochemistry at Lawrence University in Wisconsin. He attended St. Louis University School of Medicine and completed his residency program at, in Cleveland, Ohio, serving as a physician for the United States Air Force and spending time as an internal medicine doctor on the Scott Air Force Base in O'Fallon, Illinois. Larry relocated to Ontario in 1991, and he continued his medical practice locally. In addition to internal medicine, Larry completed a certificate of addiction medicine in 2009 to become a forerunner of the treatment for addiction. Dr. Stone was a kind and honest soul, dedicating his recovery and supporting others in theirs. He helped to implement one of the first methadone clinics in our community. He spent countless hours in the ER supporting and encouraging those struggling with addiction to begin their lifelong journeys. He attended and facilitated local and professional AA meetings and led his community by example. Larry was a true recovery hero whose memory will be honored and reflected and reflected in the nominees for this year's uh, winner of the Dr. Larry Stone Recovery Award. Larry sadly passed away in 2011. To leave a legacy of love and truth is the greatest accomplishment. Dr. Stone lived his life full of generosity and other exemplary qualities. All individuals nominated and selected for this honorary award display the following qualities. They are in sustained recovery for a minimum of five years. They are working to better Malheur County. They are selfless and humble champions of recovery. They live by example. They are strong advocates and allies for the recovery community. Will this year's nominees for the Dr. Larry Stone Award please join me on stage as I call your name. Angela Hillstrom. <laughs> Annette Anderson. <laughs> Chantel Ortiz. <laughs> Cheryl Clark. Deborah Eiler. Jeannie Moles. John Smith. Marie Verdon. Mark Keel. Pearl Apodaca. Sherry Forsyth, <laughs> Stephen Wood. I'm so sorry, Stephen Wolf. I'm so sorry. He's already up here. I had to put him to work first before he gets to get in line for the nomination. <laughs> Tyler Woods and Vivian Hodges. Congratulations to all of these nominees who are working tirelessly, supporting their own recovery and helping others to find recovery. You are truly appreciated in this community. To present the Dr. Larry Stone Recovery Award, please welcome Lindsay Neskins to the stage. I'll have Jeannie up here with me as well. So unlike Annette, I did not practice beforehand, so if I cry, I didn't get it out before. <laughs> um, my name is Lindsay Neskins. I'm a prevention specialist at Lifeways and a proud member of the Malheur County Prevention Coalition. Is this loud enough? I can't hear me. I'm super honored to be here to be giving this award. The number of people we have in our county... The number of people we have in our county sharing their story and shining in their recovery is staggering. It's an honor to be part of such an inspiring group of people so dedicated to their recovery and the recovery of others. The recipient of the Dr. Larry Stone Award this year is someone we may refer to as a transplant to our community. 
she wasn't born here, didn't grow up here, doesn't have her senior picture hanging on the wall, hanging in the halls of one of our high schools. Yet this individual fiercely advocates for and serves this community, her community, in every way possible. Since the moment she found her own recovery, you know, back when the dinosaurs roamed the earth, (laughs) she has advocated passionately, loudly, and consistently for support and resources for those in recovery. She's battled her own share of demons throughout her journey through recovery and does not hesitate to share the deepest, darkest parts of herself and her story with others who may need to hear it and borrow her strength. From the moment I met her, there was an instant connection. Her no BS attitude and unique life stories drew me to her. I admire her ability to always be raw, messy, authentic, and herself, as well as her strength, humility, and undeniable passion and love for her recovery. She has inspired me and many others, Jeannie being one of them. Um, This person is so deserving of this award. She truly goes above and beyond for this community and should absolutely be appreciated. Thank you so much for being such an amazing and inspiring human. When I grow up, I want to be just like you. Uh, We want to congratulate Marie Verdon. (laughs) Yeah! (laughs) Congratulations, Marie. Thank you, everybody. I didn't expect this. Um, I just do what I do because I love what I do. I find it's worth it because I've got 42 years in sobriety. And I I enjoy life that I probably wouldn't have had if I wouldn't have quit. So it is possible. Keep up the good work, everybody. And thank you. Thank you.